Hi there! Some of you will think that the video called How to Believe a Grigri is pointless, since you already know everything about bullying. But if you see a scene like this, you will understand how important it is to watch this video. Well, the Grigri is a belay device with assistant braking. That means it's not an auto-looking device. The belayer has always to keep a hand on the brake side of the rope. Hey, not like this! Come on! Before using any belay device, be sure that it's compatible with your rope. The Grigri 2 can be used on 8.9 to 11 mm single ropes. Pay close attention, especially when lowering your partner while using thin ropes. Rope compatibility with Grigri is not only related to rope diameter. Braking ability also depends on how worn the device is, the texture and condition of the climbing rope. Pay close attention when climbing with a rope that you're not used to, as well as when climbing in unfamiliar conditions. Okay, Darin. Thanks, Nina. Back to the studio. Thread the rope through the grigri as indicated on the side of the device. Close the grigri's moving side plate, clip a locking carabiner through the attachment holes, and then lock the carabiner. Check to ensure that the rope is properly threaded through the device by giving a quick tug to the climber side of the rope while maintaining your hand on the brake side. The rope should lock up immediately. How does the grigri's assisted braking work? The grigri pivots on the carabiner, and the cam inside the device pinches down on the rope. The belayer's hand on the brake side of the rope allows the cam to engage. The grigri and cam must be able to move freely. Any obstruction can reduce its braking ability. Before going climbing, establish the belay commands that you and your partner plan to use. Double check your partner's harness and tie-in knot, that the rope is threaded properly through the device, that the locking carabiner is clipped and locked properly, that the rope is the appropriate length for the route you plan to climb, and that an effective stopper knot is tied on the free end of the rope. Spot the leader before he or she reaches the first bolt and clips the first quick draw. The belayer should then remain extremely mindful of ground fall potential while the climber is low on the route. To pay out slack, the brake hand brings the rope towards the grigri by forming a bend, and the other hand pulls the rope through the grigri. This technique is the same for all Petzl belay devices, just like when belaying with a tube style device or a verso. This is the primary belay position, whether right or left handed. Being mobile is the best way to pay out slack quickly. Move towards the rock during the clip and then back to your original stance. The distance between the belayer and the rock depends on the situation. If the leader needs slack quickly, you can use a different hand position. Continue to hold the brake side of the rope and then place your index finger on the lip of the moving side plate while pressing your thumb down on the cam. The other hand pays out rope on the climber side of the device. Your hands should immediately return to the primary belay position. While your thumb is pressing on the cam, continue to hold the rope with at least three fingers on your brake hand. If your partner falls at this exact moment, your automatic reflex will be to grab the rope. The cam will then engage, pinch, and break the rope, bringing the climber to a stop. If you are left-handed and simply unable to adjust to this officially recommended technique, go to petzl.com forward slash belaying. Pay out slack quickly with the grigri, never use your entire hand to hold the device. Don't they move. Unfortunately, this very dangerous technique is far too common among climbers. When using this dangerous technique, you end up removing your hand from the brake side of the rope, while at the same time blocking the device's cam from moving properly. There are many wrong ways to hold the grigri, and in each case it is impossible to hold the brake side of the rope with your hand. If your partner falls while you are holding the grigri with your entire hand, your automatic reflex will be to squeeze the grigri and to try to grab the climber side of the rope. In this case, the assisted braking feature no longer functions. 
It's like trying to stop a fall by simply holding the rope with your hands. When you give slack quickly with the gris gris, please use appropriate belay technique. The climber has clipped. As he or she approaches the next quick draw, take in slack on the climber side and pull in rope with your brake hand. To repeat this movement, slide your brake hand along the rope without letting go. As soon as your partner climbs above the quick draw, pay out slack as usual. In the event of a fall, grip the brake side of the rope firmly while pulling downwards. For a dynamic belay, jump up slightly or step forward in order to soften the climber's fall. If you grip the climber's side of the rope too tightly, you run the risk of reducing or even negating the Grigri's braking ability. If the climber falls with slack in hand, whether on overhanging terrain, on slab, or low on the route, you should adjust your stance accordingly to take in slack. Practice holding falls or seek instruction from a professional. Even when your partner is on tension, never let go of the brake side of the rope. Distraction is a common cause of accidents. In this particular case, the climber is abruptly short roped right at the bolt. The belayer is then pulled off balance and automatically reacts by grabbing the climber side of the rope to brace himself. Depending on the situation, the pull of the rope, the climber's and the belayer's respective body weights, the Grigri's cam may release, leaving the belayer to arrest the fall with his bare hands. when you're under tension. Never let go of the brake side of the rope. Once your partner has passed the rope through the anchor, be sure to communicate clearly with each other. Put the climber on tension, take in any remaining slack, and then lock off the rope. Firmly grip the brake side of the rope. The climber, now on tension, is ready to lower. Slowly pull back on the Grigri's handle, while always maintaining an attentive grip on the brake side of the rope. While the handle helps to manage the speed of the descent, only the brake hand truly controls the rope when lowering. For enhanced control when using a thin rope or when lowering a heavy climber, you can add friction to the system by using a Freno carabiner. When lowering someone with the Grigri, always maintain a firm grip on the brake side of the rope. Otherwise, you will not be able to control your partner when lowering. The handle helps to manage the speed of the descent, but only the brake hand truly controls the rope when lowering. When lowering your partner, Always firmly hold the brake end of the rope. If you need to let go of the rope while your partner is on tension, for example to deal with a knot or a kink, you need to tie off the rope. While continuing to maintain a firm grip on the brake side of the rope, tie a knot around the carabiner. Tighten the knot and then clip the loop with another carabiner to prevent the knot from coming undone. You can now let go of the rope. Once you are finished dealing with the issue, unclip the carabiner and then give a quick tug to the brake side of the rope. This will release the knot, allowing you to continue to belay your partner. Forgetting to tie a knot at the end of the rope is a major cause of accidents in sport climbing. By the time we realize our mistake, it's pointless and way too late to try to grab the rope. During the partner check, please make it a habit to tie a knot at the free end of the rope. In conclusion, remember the four rules 
of the link. Partner check. Always pay attention on the climber. Always keep a hand on the brake side of the rope, even with a grigory, and use the officially technique to give slack really quickly. <laughs>